I always say if you know how to cook a whole roast chook, then you know how to cook a duck. I always remove my whole duck from the plastic wrapping the day before. If you do this the day before, then we're going to air dry the skin, which means crispy duck skin, and we all love that. We're going to add a good pinch of salt all over it. And now this goes into the oven. So the general rule is 190 degrees, and the duck needs to cook for 40 minutes per kilo. So this is a two kilogram duck. It's going to take about an hour and 20 minutes. So into the oven. Pairing my roast duck with a Cumberland sauce. It's a very medieval sauce, if you like, because it's got old school ingredients in it. So just a few little steps. I've got an orange here. So I've peeled the orange and I've finely sliced it into little juliennes. You want it to be as fine as possible because we don't want it to be overpowering in the sauce. I've got some water here and we're going to blanch this just to take away the bitterness of the orange. So we'll just leave that in there for a moment while we get on to the rest of the sauce. In another pot, I'm going to add some cranberries. Now it's quite hard to find fresh cranberries, but you can find frozen cranberries and they work really well for this recipe. So in with some frozen cranberries, I'm going to add some red currant jelly. These are all flavours that go with the duck. Also we'll add some port, so I love that sweet woody flavour of the port. A splash into that and some French shallot. Now, you can use classic red onion if you like, but I find that if you use a shallot for this, it's much milder, it's much sweeter, and it doesn't take as long to cook down. So we're just going to slice and then run your knife across it. And this is just always the easiest way when you want to finely dice a French shallot. Fantastic. That can also go into the pot. I need some acid for this recipe. So you could use some red wine vinegar, if you like, or apple cider vinegar, or good old lemon. So a squeeze of fresh lemon juice can go in. Give that a good squeeze. Some mustard, just classic Dijon mustard, a small amount of that. Some cayenne pepper, a small pinch of that. That's just gonna give it some warmth. And some ground ginger. So really interesting flavours, but trust me, it works a treat. Great. Now have a look over here. See how this has come back up to the boil? That's what we want for our orange. So we'll just use a slotted spoon to take that out. And that can also go straight into our sauce. Now you can see this is just starting to come to the boil now. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a jiggle, stir everything together and let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the cranberries break down and we get this beautiful glossy sauce. <music> Duck has come out of the oven and I've allowed it to rest. Really important to let it rest so all of the juices and the meat relaxes so it's going to be extra juicy. And I've just turned the heat back on our beautiful Cumberland sauce here. See how it's reduced significantly, it's glossy and it just smells fantastic. It's nice and thick too, but I really want to balance everything out and I do that by adding a little butter. So some unsalted butter. We want about 10 grams of the butter and we'll just add that at the very last minute. It's not only going to just round out all the flavours, it's also going to give us an extra sheen on the sauce. And just by agitating the pan and stirring constantly, you get this beautiful, glossy sauce. That's what we're after and that's the right consistency. Okay, let's plate up the duck. I think this is such a masterpiece that you want to bring this to the table whole. So we can also just garnish the plate. So we'll cut our orange in half. We'll cut some half moons and we'll decorate that because we do have some orange in the dish. So maybe a little orange on each side. And really go all out and slightly old school. Some thyme, a few sprigs of thyme on each side. It smells so good. And then our duck. So we'll just remove it from our tray. And you can see that I did cook this on a rack just so all of the fat drips down. So there's our gorgeous duck. It would only be appropriate to serve our classic sauce in an old school gravy boat. So we'll grab the Cumberland sauce 
and we'll pour that in. It's tart, it's sweet, it's rich, it's perfect with this gorgeous whole roast duck. Look at that, a feast fit for a queen or king.